Well, good morning. It is Thursday morning and we are asking the question, has the world changed you? Have you been changed by the world? Have you been kind of pushed into uh, that, what the world is doing? And yeah, all of us have been. But the question I don't want to, or, or what I, my title of my talk this morning is really this, truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what we live by. We don't live by the world standards. We live by the standard found in the word of God and it's truth. We live by the truth, the whole truth, and nothing by the tr but the truth. We come back to the truth of the word of God. John chapter 8, 34 and 35 says, I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave of sin. Notice that I spoke about it yesterday. If you're a slave of sin, then <laughs> you will remain a slave. Uh, never to inherit anything. You'll die a slave. But listen to what Jesus goes on to say. He says, a slave is not uh, a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. Notice that. If you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you are now delivered from your sin. You are no longer a slave to sin. Now you become part of the family of God. <laughs> now you take on the name of God. You know, again, come on, this is it. Now we are part, we have this great family of God. Our name now is Christian. Notice that we take on Christian. What does Christian mean? Christ-like. We take on the name of Christ, Christ-like. We take on his nature. We live like him. We talk like him. We think like him. We act like him. This is what we should be doing. <laughs> Now, many a times when we examine Christians, they look nothing like their father. Not so. In fact, many of them look like the devil himself. Uh, and yet they proclaim to be Christian. Again, I want to say this. If you have been delivered and set free from the slavery of sin, you are now a son and a daughter of the Most High God. You are now have a place at the table of the Father. You now have an inheritance and that inheritance is eternal life. You see, people ask the following question. Am I going to die because of my sinful ways? What a reply. Yeah, absolutely. And if you die in your sin, you're going to hell. Whoa. Whoa. Why doesn't the church like to talk about hell? Oh, you see, because, you know, uh, hell uh, really uh, is, is there hell. So many people say they don't believe in hell. Well, well, again, my Bible speaks of hell. My Bible speaks that if you are not producing fruit, then you're going to be cut off and you're going to be thrown into the fire. This is this is what it, what the gardener will do. This is what God will do. Because the word of God says that we're all going to stand before God one day. The great uh, gardener, we're going to stand before him. And we're going to stand, as it were, with our branch in our hand. And what are we going to look? What are we going to show? Are we going to show the fruit? The fruit that, that this branch has grown in Christ Jesus? You see, again, if we are in Christ, we're going to produce fruit. Uh, if we are the devil, we're going we're gonna to come under the slavery and the mentality of the devil. Hello? We're going to think like him, act like him, talk like him, live like him, look like him. Again, you see, there, there is only two roads to take. The road leading to Christ, the road in Christ, or the road in this world. That is the lies of the devil who is now uh, leading us down the garden path, as it were, uh, through lies, through deceit, through deception. You see, will one go down the road of small talk or will one tell the truth of what sin is and what the result of sin is eternal separation from god our father are we going to talk like this come on we, we need to start changing our talk as a church you know not not just saying oh well you know god is gracious he's going to open the doors he's going to let everybody in. no 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 listen 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 if you are if you are part of the vine you're going to be pruned to produce more fruit if you are not a fruit bearer on the vine the father will remove he will take off the branch he will cast it out he will cast it away it'll be a constant separation from him you are now taken out of the vine and you are thrown to one side that is separation from god that is hell already whoa that is it so so again we've got to come back to understanding there are two roads that we need to be walking on either we are in god in the world and if we are in God we have eternal life if we are in the world and in the devil we have separation from God eternal separation from God so like a cancer patient a cancer is sin Christ alone can remove sin our cross is like the chemo the radiation uh, we face these trials and tribulations heartache 
But our focus, God, our salvation is in Christ. He delivers us. He brings us through. He brings us into good health. But but yeah, we are in a world that is in turmoil. Yes, we 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 experience all the trials and the tribulations, the things that are going on around us. But it doesn't separate us from God. It, in actual fact, draws us even closer to God. Listen to what John 10:10 10, 10 says. It says, "The thief comes to steal, kill, and to destroy, but Jesus Christ comes to give you life." and that more abundantly are you sin free is the question we need to be asking ourselves have you picked up your cross are you following christ jesus yes we're going to go through trials and tribulations but you know what my security is found in this i have been grafted into the vine i am part of christ Jesus. <laughs> I now have an intercessor who stands before the Father on my behalf, speaking on my behalf, helping me through my trials and my tribulations that I might face because I have been grafted into the vine. Have you?